The enemy was born out of my frustration as a photojournalist and war correspondent. For almost 20 years, I have photographed conflicts and witnessed the consequences of huge geopolitical shifts. When I became a father, I simply knew I could not keep working on the front lines. Yet, I was not done trying to understand wars. Oh, me na ba uwaka juna bo bana ni uwaka. My friends in Israel, when they know I'm heading for Gaza can't help themselves but to wish me luck and to stay safe. They believe a lot of people in Gaza are irrational. Also, when I spend weeks working in Gaza and I'm about to return to Israel, my Palestinian friends are telling me the exact same thing. Be careful there. The project is rooted in my experience as a war photographer going from one side of the front line to the other and finding that the fighters' dreams, hopes, and nightmares are often more similar than they are different. So there is a bigger story than the war itself, and this is the one I want to explore and share. For the enemy, I am using the latest technologies in virtual and augmented realities so you can engage directly with the combatants and meet them, hear them, and feel them the way I did. In many parts of our worlds, you create an enemy as a kid without having met your enemy because the society around you has created an enemy in the other. So the question is, could I be you if I was on the other side? 